Growing up in Miami, Florida, peacock bass have always been a special fish to me. As a kid, I've always dreamed of traveling to the Amazon jungle to catch a true giant peacock bass. So of March 2022, I booked a solo trip to Colombia with little knowledge and no idea what to expect. After a very long journey, a few plane rides. Uh, Florida. I'm from Florida. Yeah. You're the pilot. Ryan. Nice meeting you. You have chicks. Chicks. Can I film? Oh my God. Hey buddy. Oh, hello. Hello. Dude, this is epic, bro. And a few bumpy shuttles down some sketchy dirt roads. This is how we're gonna get to camp. This is insane. Driving down a dirt road. We have just been seeing non-stop fires. Oh my God, it's so hot. We got about three more hours in the Toyota Land Cruiser. We got our driver, Diego. We got our guide, Diego. And we got our fellow fisherman, Matt. Woo! Hold your breath. We eventually reached the riverbanks of the Orinoco River in Colombia. Hola! How y'all doing? Oh my god. Guys, we made it. What's going on, brother? Ryan, nice meeting you. How you doing? Ryan, nice meeting you. Holy smokes, guys. We made it. Oh wait, are we just getting gas? I don't know what's happening. First night, I was greeted in my tent by some tree frogs and some very sketchy looking bugs. Oh! No way! And after a quick stroll down to the beach and seeing tons of stingrays, I knew that this is no joke. The only thing that was on my mind was catching giant peacock bass. And after a few hours of fishing on day one... Oh my god, that's a double! Oh my god! Tell him, tell oh him. Oh my god! Dude! Oh, oh my god! Yeah. I caught a giant 16 pounder on fly, and I knew that it was possible of breaking that 20 pound dream fish, a fish that every angler hopes to catch when traveling the great distance to get to the Amazon. After a few days of fishing, tons of bug bites, and excruciating heat, I came within pounds of catching that 20 pound fish. What you are about to watch is my final day in Colombia, and it is truly a day that I will never forget. If you like big fish, this is definitely the video for you. And if you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button and drop a like on the video. This is my quest for a 20 pounder. What's up, Rocky? Good morning, guys. It is day seven, last day in Colombia. And we're going after muy grande pavon, the biggest that we've targeted yet. We have a real shot of breaking 20 pounds today, which is a huge, huge dream. Rocky, we'll see you later, baby. We're gonna go get after it. It's a gorgeous day out here. Let's do it. You boys ready? Ready, listo. Listo. Them and then go, I think they take us to the All right.
to hop on here for a second because I'm sure I'm going to get some questions about this. I booked a trip with Fish Columbia. That's who took me around the jungle and kept me safe. Fish Columbia is all coordinated by Alberto and Alberto works with some of the native people in the jungle. I literally stayed with native people in the camps. They cooked for us. They took us fishing and I have to say that these are some of the nicest people and some of the happiest people. On the last day of the trip they took us to a very special lagoon. This is a sacred lagoon and in order to fish this lagoon we hand them some supplies such as gasoline, rice, food, and Matt even brought some soccer balls for the kids. It was just an incredible experience getting led around by the native people that live in the jungle year round and they're just some of the nicest people. Buenos dias. Oh, oh, oh. Diego no lo mandó la gasolina. Aquí está. Ah, come. Gracias. He's getting there. Oh. Sí. Dale, nos hablamos. Chao. Chao. Buen día. De nada. Chao. Dude, that's awesome, man. Well, guys, we've caught him on a lot of stuff on this trip, and today. The goal is to catch a 20 pound peacock bass on the ultralight. We have a 3000 Shimano Nasky, 8 to 20 pound, two piece rod. Oh my God, big. you got him, big. you got him. Big. You got him. Big, big. On the freaking popper. Big, my frame. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. On the popper. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh my god. Speak up. Yes. <laughs> oh my oh. gosh. 18 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Oof. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Oh my god! It's nuts! On the top water, are you kidding me? Come on. <laughs> wow. 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 Yup. Yup. Oh my god, that's the biggest of the trip. No, okay. La mano. Oh my god. We've been here five minutes. What's the weight? What's the weight? Uh, 16? 16. 16. Photo, photo in the uh, magic pocket. <laughs> okay, my friend. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect. Suelto? In my mano, see. Sí. Good fish, dude. Oh, shit. Oh. Wow. 
Oh. oh. Did she break off? Yeah. Oh, man. There she goes. Good stuff, man. Broke the popper? Yeah. Oh. All right. 16 pound peacock. Oh, oh, my God. I'm recording. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Brian. See. Oh. oh, nice. 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 Man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. She just broke a guy. Freno, está muy metido de esa caña. Ya le partió la guía. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Maybe 11 pounds. Start the day off. Good fish. First fish of the day. Beautiful fish. These fish are just so freaking beautiful. There she goes. These rope? See. File. File, file. Fish with, with my rod. See. Not a bad story. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. What the heck? Giant peacock, he exploded on those barracuda. Yes. Oh. That was him. Blowing up on those barracuda. Beautiful. Look at that fish. Woo! So this is what that peacock exploded on. These guys are like Amazon barracudas. Look at those teeth. Slow is low. <laughs> oh, get away from the tree. Oh, good one. Should 
good one. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely well over 10, dude. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> On the little rod. Ooh. Ah, yeah. Beautiful fish. <laughs> I love this orange. It's very good. Yeah. Oh, yo, Zuri, floating orange. This thing, wax them. You okay, hey, let's get some canyon? No. Ahí, ya para allá. Sí. 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 Es bueno. Nosotros veníamos hasta ahí, pero como tal ahí en la pantalla. Pero por aquí no se vea. Aaron. Oh, I just got hit too. Whatever hit you. And that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. He's right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, 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 see. See. Boom. No, boom. I gotta fix I gotta no, fix the lure. I gotta fix the lure. I gotta fix the lure. I know I see 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 see. I lost him. See 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 see. Yeah, there's two of them. There's two of them. Two pico bars. Two pico bars. Freaking I knew that they would be here, dude, on the freaking little sandbar. No, we'll get them. They're both huge. Boom! It ate it. <laughs> They're eating it so lazy. You just literally have to get it right in front of their face and they'll eat it. I got your line, bro. You got eyes on them? One swim off. One, one is, yeah, one, one is. Right there. Right there. Oh. I got stuck on the bottom. This is the little one. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled, Matt. There's another one. Nice fish. Oh, really nice fish. That's a smaller one. This is the smaller one, guys. Oh. Muy grande. Oh. My God. Oh. That's a new PB. That's a new PB. See, 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 see. Oh, 18 pounds. And the other one was over 20 for sure. This is the smaller one. Sight fished. Freaking sight fished. Let me see. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh. There might be a 20, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh.
<laughs> Sight fish, dog. Sight fish. Can we go to the beach? Oh my god. 18 pounds on the little ultralight rod. Magma, see, I'll leave it in the in the mouth of the picture. Or take it ah, out. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. see, see, see. Okay. Mm. Dude, Matt, that, that, that other one was over 20. Yeah. That other one was way bigger. <laughs> we got the smaller <laughs> fish of two. <laughs> and it was freaking 18 pounds. <laughs> on the little ultralight, bro. Paused it right in front of his face, twitched it, and he was on it. Oh. Your phone for a picture? <laughs> big one, big one. Cuidado que se va, se go the fish. Go the fish. When? We're in this lagoon on the last day. This is the smaller fish of two that we saw together. This is an 18 pound peacock. The other one was well over 20. We are in the right spot. Look at the mouth. Huge. On, on Christian's ultralight rod. On little Yozuri. Giant. Muy grande pavon. Look at that fish. Holy cow. <laughs> 18 pounds with Fish Columbia on the freaking ultralight. It's so crazy. There she goes. Muy grande pavon. Muy grande pavon. Yes, sir. Let's go. Mm. Laquino, gracias. Yo, thank you, brother. Good job, man. Thank you, man. Stood. Oh my god. On the other side, on the sandbar. Are you on? Oh, 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 go, 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 go! Sick! That's the crazy thing about fly. Literally just through there with the plug. He didn't want it, but he went for the fly. Some of these fish prefer the finesse. Come on, giant peacock, come eat that off my hook. <laughs> bueno. There he is. Little butterfly. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Beautiful. Muy bien. Such a gorgeous fish. The little ones are so pretty. Young. Gracias. Colombian lunch. Last day. Woo.
Yeah, We're sitting next to poisonous mushrooms. We go to the mushrooms called right there. Yes. ¿Qué pasó? It's dangerous. ¿Cómo es el nombre? Pica pica. Pica pica. If you touch these, you're gonna break out in hives and itch and have pain all over your body. And we are surrounded by them. Eating lunch. Our lunch break. I just spotted a peacock. Good peacock. Oh, oh my god. He followed it. Got her. On lunch break. <laughs> yeah. 20 pounds. 20 pounds. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, so sick. Oh. oh, had another one. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the cat food thing. Oh. Oh. Muy bueno. <laughs> Uh, lunch break fish number two. There she goes. Lunch break fishing, baby. Let's go. Oh, folks at home, this is the hottest I've ever fished in my life. It is <laughs> boiling. Si, sí, no. No lafo, no. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Tranquilo. Oh, oh no. Tranquilo. Huh. We're rolling. We're rolling. GoPro guys overheated. We're talking about going home and got smashed by this fish. Woo! Literally hooked up. The GoPro just overheated. This fish is. Definitely over 10. Beautiful Pavon. Oh, gorgeous. That is, she might go 15. Oh, gracias. Uh. All right, we got another giant peacock. GoPro died right when I hooked her. Fourteen pounds. Fourteen. All right, fourteen pounder. Gracias. <laughs> hey, uh, fish Columbia guys, epic in the mud with my friend Christian, 14 pound peacock bass with my new friend Matt y Loquino Loquino, suave suave Quino, giant peacock.
And you know what? Me love a peacock so much we go swimming. Fish Columbia, baby. Cervezas. Gracias. Cheers. Yes. Muy grande, Pavon. Colombia. 2020, 2022, baby, let's go. Great freaking trip. Cheers. And we're stuck. Traveling to Colombia offered me much more than crossing my childhood dream of catching that giant peacock bass. It offered me a newfound respect for the life that I live here in the United States. Driving through Bogota, some of the areas were decimated like a war zone. The jungle taught me the real feeling of true peace. Being disconnected from all life, the native people treated me like their own family. In my 10 days in Colombia, I made friendships and memories that will last a lifetime. <laughs> So many little moments that I'll take away with me for the rest of my life. I saw incredible wildlife. Oh my gosh, they're huge, they're huge. I learned the feeling of true inner peace, peace that I never knew existed. The noises of the jungle waking up early in the morning and coming alive late at night, a feeling truly indescribable. Although I didn't reach my goal of catching that 20 pound peacock bass, I feel even more satisfied from the personal growth and lessons that I learned on this trip. I think it's important that we all go head on with things that scare us in life. We need to push the boundaries of our comfort zone because looking back, you'll always be glad that you did it. If you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you for following me along on this journey. It was everything that I dreamed of and more. And until the next adventure, keep on fishing. <laughs>